Daratum map therapy initially was the first advent as a monoclonal antibody in multiple myeloma. We also now have isotuximab as a CD38 monoclonal antibody. As would often be dictated in clinical practice, clinical trials were done in relapsed myeloma or heavily relapsed myeloma before the monoclonal antibody started to move in the upfront setting. But now that we have the approvals for daratumumab, valcate, thalidomide, dexamethasone for transplant eligible myeloma, and daratumumab, lenalidomide, and dexamethasone for transplant ineligible myeloma, and with long-term follow-up from both these trials and using these drugs in clinical practice, it is eminently clear that the addition of the monoclonal antibody has made a significant difference for these patients. Patients, higher proportions are being responding, deeper responses are obtained, including MRD negativity, and this is translating to significantly improved progression-free survival in the first remission period, which is often when patients have an improved quality of life. So it is remarkable that we are in a setting now where we can use CD38 monoclonal antibodies across transplant eligible and ineligible patient population and see significantly improved clinical outcomes in these patients. And uh, we would uh, wait and see whether we can improve on what we are currently seeing uh, with the addition of CD38 monoclonal antibodies.